Hi, and welcome to today's video. I hope that you're all doing amazing. Today is a very gloomy and hot day, which is just like the worst combo, but it's okay. I have been feeling really overwhelmed with everything. So today we're gonna have a super chill little day or like hopefully try to have a chill little day because for some reason like I just, I just feel like I'm freaking out internally. <laughs> Which is not good. So we're gonna make sure that we chill today. Make some cookies. I have to go on a run, but that's okay. And yeah, we're just gonna try to have a good day together. Honestly, I just think I'm really, really like low energy. I'm just exhausted. I just really hope that my body gets used to it soon. Because when you train for a marathon, every week you have to hit a certain amount of kilometers within like that week. And every week it goes up which is so stressful because <laughs> I'm already like so tired. But hopefully, hopefully I get used to it. Anyways, okay, I'm talking too much. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Thank you guys for being here with me and spending the day with me. And even if I'm overwhelmed, it doesn't matter because I have you guys and we're gonna have a good day. Okay, first off, I'm gonna change my bed sheet and I'm gonna like move my bed because I have a problem where like I love moving shit around. Like I love reorganizing everything. And sometimes I just get like an itch for it. Let's do that. I'm just like moving it like 90 degrees. It's not that big of a deal, okay? But it's exciting for me, okay? It's exciting. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Okay. We're gonna just move it. Oh my god. Okay, I also feel like for some reason, okay, I've been running and biking a lot and I just feel like I'm constantly out of breath now. Is that normal? <laughs> I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm just like tired and that's like all it is. But for some reason, I'm like so out of breath. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully this all gets better <laughs> soon. Okay, let's keep going. shower done now we have to get ready for a run for the cold showers by the way i feel like i'm getting a little bit better at it okay i feel like i have to take like really deep breaths like kind of extra but whatever and then i also like kind of like tiptoe like this on my feet and i don't know for some reason like that helps i usually do it like 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 i stand under it and the water goes like this 
and then I put it on my head too. Oh my gosh, I'm proud of myself though. I'm proud of myself because I didn't think that I would be able to do it, but I'm doing it. And it actually does like make me feel better, especially like in the morning, it really wakes you up and I don't know, I don't know. And throughout the day, I tell myself like, I took a cold shower so I can do anything because I don't know, like a cold shower is so hard. So I did one hard thing, I can do hard things for the rest of the day and I got this. So anyways, let's get ready for a run. another 5k i feel like i'm just running so many 5ks over and over and over and over but that's okay the problem is that it's pouring outside and it's also like 30 degrees so just like humid hot and disgusting so i thought that i would use my Revo treadmill Thank you Revo for sponsoring today's video and make sure that you check out this treadmill in the link in my bio on Amazon. Training for a marathon means that I'm doing a lot of volume and it could get pretty time consuming and tiring, like really tiring. But with the Revo treadmill, I'm able to kind of switch it up a little and do my slow runs from the comfort of my cozy little apartment. I can also do some knee exercises on it, which is so cool because my knees are actually like terrible, terrible. Apparently like walking backwards is really good for your knees, but that just looks weird doing outside. So I will be doing a lot of that on this. This specific treadmill actually has eight silicone shock absorbers, two soft cushions, and a five layer non-slip running belt. All of these things actually reduce the impact on the knees, which I really appreciate. The treadmill speed starts at 0.6 miles per hour and it can go up to four miles per hour. So it's pretty versatile and it can be used for walking and a light job. And it's also portable, which I just love. I can move it around my apartment and do little workouts wherever I want. It's also gonna be great during the winter and I could do like little workouts on my loft and kind of like sunbathe. Canadian winters really just suck the joy right out of you, which is so sad. But I swear this might actually just save me. They're also just super easy to store and put away, which is really nice when you live in a smaller space. Okay, there's honestly so many things to love about this product, but the last thing I wanna mention is just how quiet it is. If you know me, you know that I love my cats and I hate disturbing them. So I'm really impressed by how quiet this treadmill is, especially considering how powerful it is. And now I can work out next to my cats without bothering them. Make sure that you head over to the link in my bio to check out the Urevo treadmill. It'll be discounted on Amazon Prime Day, which is coming up soon. So make sure that you add it to your shopping list so that you don't miss out on the discount. Thanks again, Urevo, for sponsoring today's video. So let's do a slow little recovery run. I'm also really glad because I can really focus on my form on here and I don't have to worry about like anything else, you know? So let's do this.
We're ready. Let's go get some food because I literally have no food here. I've been eating the same soup for like a week now. And the soup is delicious, but I need to eat something else. Okay, let's go. that I've made so far. They're so freaking good. Oh yeah, if you want to make them with me, you should them, huh, baby? Do you want to make cookies? Okay, let's do this. And there's gonna be a bunch of cat hair in my cookies. Dimi, oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna listen to Either Way by O.D. Play, Lee, I don't know. Okay, you will need butter, eggs, salt, baking soda, flour, vanilla, chocolate chips, sugar, and more sugar. Okay, we're gonna brown one cup of butter. I'm doing two because I'm doubling it because I'm obsessed with these. We're gonna put it in a pan over medium heat until it melts. And then it bubbles, and then it turns this like dark golden color, like brown. Okay, now we let this cool down. Okay, butter in a bowl. One cup of brown sugar, two, because we're making double. Half a cup of granulated sugar, one teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and one teaspoon of salt. Oh, and two eggs. Okay, now we mix. Okay, and now we mix, which is the hardest part. Okay, now two cups of chocolate chips. What? Two. Oh my gosh. Three. No, I can't do that. Okay, the secret to making the tops of the cooked cookie like crackly is to like make a ball okay then you break it in half oh my god and then you like stick it back together so like the top looks like this and then it bakes like really nice i don't know it doesn't actually matter you know i have a bunch left i think i'm just gonna freeze it because i'm too lazy to like make a whole other thing to cook. I don't know, I'm too lazy. Okay, I'm just too lazy. Okay, now we sprinkle some salt on them and that like really makes it so delicious. You can't forget to do that. Okay, this one might be a little bit too salty, but whatever, whatever. Shh, don't tell anyone. Okay, I think I'm gonna spend 
the rest of the day here it's super sunny now which i'm so happy about because it was so depressing earlier today so i'm just gonna sunbathe and work on my little planner <laughs> which I love. And I'm gonna put on this movie on my phone. Actually, I'll do it right now. That I really wanna watch. It's like, okay, I love Zac Efron and I love Nicole Kidman separately, but there's this new movie out on Netflix called like Something Family and I wanna watch it. Even though I think it's bad, like I don't think it's a good movie, but like I don't care. <gasps> a Family Affair, that's what it's called. Ew, oh my God. <sighs> I feel like it's gonna make me cringe so hard, but whatever. It says 96% match. It better be good. But anyways, that's what I'm doing for the rest of the day. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. It was very chill, but it was nice. I hope that you guys have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you next week. Love you. Bye.